hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to The Binding of Isaac Repentance. We've got some tainted characters to play as. I, since we just played as Azazel, let's play as Lazarus. Flip between life and death. It, it doesn't sound good, whatever it is. So we have a flip Omega. No idea what that does. Let's just use it in this room. Doesn't do anything. Oh, right, it's not spacebar, it's Q. Okay, so now I have less tears, more damage, more range, less speed. And then Flip has changed to a upside down Omega. And then we're back. Okay, so like, you can use this to temporarily turn into dark form Lazarus. Th that seems like it's interesting, but like you would just wanna save that for like tough rooms and bosses, right? That's probably what you would want to do, because those are when you would just want the damage bonuses. Maybe it wouldn't work for all waves of, oh, oh no. You just always swap. <laughs> so you can manually flip once every six rooms. Otherwise, you just flip after a room. That's interesting. Health up, good pill. Okay, okay. So we have to, we have to, well, our stats are always changing, and what might be good for one of our forms would be worse for the other one. A okay, and you know what? I, I understand now. We, a we actually have two characters, because now I have red hearts instead of spirit hearts. I have lost blood rights, and the trinket is only going to apply to this character, and as soon as we flip, we're going to go back to the other one, aren't we? There, there it is. So we got the health for this character. Oh, baby, this is going to be mighty confusing. But I understand. So you, you actually have to build two runs because you need to be able to survive with either character. And you're gonna be splitting the items between the characters, so you're gonna have half as powerful of a run as you should have had. This seems extremely tough, but honestly, it does not seem as tough as uh, tainted Judas, because a lot of items in Isaac are kind of just like filler, you know, like range up, luck up, HP up, you know, they don't really matter a great deal, you know, which character would take it. The big problem is gonna be like sharing HP, but like we could just build one character that's very good at handling bosses and then just make sure that we flip to that character before a boss fight. Well, then again, now that I think about it, um, when you win the boss fight, you will flip to the other character who's gonna be picking up the items. Maybe you just play this as a normal run. You know, you don't worry about it. And you, and you just say, yeah, we're just gonna play a run and we're gonna hope that we get enough good items to make two characters work as opposed to one character. Did I really get nothing on this floor? No bombs, no keys, two pennies? All right. Yeah, uh, seems interesting. Like, hmm. <laughs> Cause like if we get Dark Bum, it's only gonna apply to one character. If we get Mom's Knife, it's only gonna apply to one character. We're always gonna be switching, which is gonna make it hard to, hand, to manage items and power. Like we're, we're starting off very, we're starting off like just as powerful as every other character in the game, but we are not going to get as strong as quick because of the fact that our items are gonna be split. And I guess that's where the, uh, this scares the crap out of me every time. That's where this really uh, becomes interesting because how, well, like some items, maybe you're like, I need to give this to light side Lazarus. And some items is like, I really need to give this to dark side Lazarus. But for the rest of the game, you're just like, well, you get this, you get this and I hope you're strong enough to live. Certainly, for some fights, you're just gonna want to swap. Wow, I freaking, they attack so quickly in hard mode. Wait, except he's attacking slower now. Why did he attack so quickly before? Um, but yeah, like, okay. Interesting, it's, it's very interesting. You know, let me just, Let's go up in here in Blood Rites. 
Is Bloodrite's Necronomicon or is Bloodrite's damage? I think it's Necronomicon. Uh, the Razor Blade would be the damage, wouldn't it? Oh well. This is, uh, is interesting. I, I have no idea. Like, it's gonna take a little while to figure out roughly if this is uh, a strong enough character to be easy, but it doesn't seem like it. It, it just seems like it's an, a, a negative. It seems like it's just straight up a curse. You don't have any syringes, you can probably take it. Damage up, tears down. You know, there's, as far as I can tell, there's no positives to switching characters. It's only a negative, because your items are split. If you get a bad item, sure, maybe it doesn't screw up your run, like if you get soy milk, but you know, you can always just choose not to take soy milk. And if it screws up your run as another character, you could still equally have a bad time. At least, Bombs, what the heck? Double tinted, or double, uh, double sticky nickel, that's worth a bomb. Uh, maybe, you know, having, or I should say, it's good that you have uh, shared resources. At least it looks like you do. Three bombs, 17 cents, you know, that's, that's the same no matter what version of the character you're playing as. I think, let's check. Yes, okay, good. Positive is double HP pool. Except, like, if either character dies, both die. So it's not really like you have double HP. You know, because it's not like you can choose when to use HP in a certain situation. You know, you get hit as a character, you get hit as a character. It's like it's like Jacob and Esau. It's like saying that Jacob and Esau are good because they have uh, double the health. Well, not really. You take double the damage, at least on the runs. And the fact that you have uh, double the health just means you have to take twice as much time getting uh, HP for both characters. Does a reroll affect both characters like a one? Dude, I have no idea. It's a good question, I just have no idea. So what the heck are you? Empty heart, it multiplies. I got no idea. Oh no, wait, wait, I do. Um, if you have an empty heart container going down a floor, it gives you a heart container. That might be a perfect opportunity to flip to Esau so that we get another heart container next floor. And then with blood rights, we can keep it empty so that we keep gaining heart containers, I think? I don't know, I'm, I'm kinda just flying by the seat of my pants here. I think this item is okay though. Like, it really feels like the the thing of prime importance is going to be just making sure that Spirit Hearts goes on the right character to get your deal with the Devil Chance and keep it. It feels like that's going to be important. Certain items, health up. Trinkets and pills we can swap between characters. Hmm, so if I wanted to, I could take a health up. But if we have the empty heart, we should not take health up. This could also be a health down pill. We don't really know. One, two, three, four, there's five locations for a second secret room. You know, I'm just gonna go. I don't know, it's, it's strange. Have I done the red redemption challenge? Not yet. I do have it unlocked, however. Okay, so empty heart, because we had empty hearts, it gave us another heart, and it is a health down pill. So we can't really use it for any purpose right now, but if we get a deal with the devil, we can trade some health away. If that's what we wanna do, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it, this seems hard, but I, I stand by the idea that there's a lot of filler items in Isaac that don't really matter all that much, and then if we just, you know, split the filler items between characters and then get like two powerful items, one on each, then we should be okay. And 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 you know what? What I like about this challenge, so we actually want that heart on other Lazarus, so we're not gonna pick it up. Uh, what I'll say is that it's really nice that this challenge isn't like, you know, your health is constantly draining, or if you get hit once you die, if you're Jacob, 
You know, this is just like, hey, play Isaac, but you have half the items over two characters. Sure, you know, sure. Imagine one character getting an angel. And so like, you you think that one character could get an angel deal and one character could get a devil deal? I think that's probably maintained between characters, you know? Like I think if either one takes a devil deal, you're locked into devil deals. That's my, that's my assumption. Oh, you know what? We're gonna flip on the way out. So we're gonna lose half of a heart on the other guy. But we did get another uh, pill out of it. <laughs> 48 hour energy, not like we need it at all. You know what it feels like? Now that I've, I just have a little bit more time to, to process the run that we have, it feels like the thing of primary importance is that you're just gonna be weak the entire run, which makes it not seem like a fun character to play because if you know if you don't stack up items on one character then the damage upgrades are going to be split the health is going to be split you're you're going to be spending a lot of time slowly killing enemies like this if you get a powerful item you know you can only use it half the time if you get a damage upgrade it's only going to apply half the time so what the heck so it really does feel like this is going to be a, a relatively weak character to play as and uh, a slow character to play as. Which can certainly be frustrating and annoying at times. Because you just want to, you know, got to go fast. Because also, I mean, going fast is is more fun than going slow in, in, in Isaac. I don't know why I just stood there and got hit. I thought you were a single shot. Okay, look, these flies have to go. Dude, I hate... I hate the management flies. Follow the leader. No keys! Did they, like, secretly patch the game to nerf key drops or something? Oh, it's okay, it's okay. Deal with the Devil has been maintained. We got hit as other character, although our health is quite low. Because uh, it's split between two of them. What happens if one Lazarus dies? I assume you die. <laughs> this game is very big on, you know, if one of you dies, the other one of you dies. I mean, just think of uh, Jacob and, and Esau. If one of you dies, the other one dies. Okay, we have spirit hearts. We're gonna go into the boss fight right now because we have a little bit of protection. Bumpy, no, you piece of garbage. This boss sucks. He didn't even get stunned. It's a freaking tinted heart, let's go. All right, didn't know you could do that. You didn't hit me somehow? Do it again, do it again. Do it again, piece of garbage. No, 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 stop, 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 stop. You know what I don't like about this boss? He's got way too much squash and stretch. If you just, it looks wrong, you know? But also, he is trash. Careful. And I'm learning, don't go on the diagonals. Diagonals are bad. Okay, tears up. Well, I guess you get it. And then flight. So one character having flight, I think is okay. So I'm gonna flip with Q, and then we're gonna take it, and then we get a health up pill. And then we also get more health because we have empty heart container going down to the next floor. But now, that we have flight on one character, we can go over pits and get some consumables that we otherwise couldn't get. Although I still have just no keys. So, you know, that's a little bit of a problem. <laughs> also, uh, Tofel Torkel, welcome to the stream. It's good to see you. Hello and goodbye. 
I see you. It's a 48 hour energy pill. So I, I can recharge Flip in order to leave the floor. We do need to go to a secret room if it exists. It's not there. So it could be, it could be up to the left. Let's check this room real quick. Okay, we... I'm always worried when the room doesn't end. So we're gonna get our, our Flip charge naturally, which is good. Oh, you know what? This also gives us, oh nice. This also gives us, um. Cheaper deal with the devil access, or not cheaper deal with the devil, cheaper um, curse room access with having flight. I guess we'll take it, I don't, wait, did I just ruin empty vessel? Or empty heart or whatever it is, I don't know. I don't know, dude. Okay. Might as well get some money, I guess. Do 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 do. No keys, no keys at all on the entire floor. Uh, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven second secret room locations. So we should be able to find the second secret room, even if it takes us a few bombs and maybe we'll get lucky and there will be some keys in there. Because if we don't get any keys, we can't go to the item room or the shop. I mean, and this is just like a train wreck of a run uh, as far as like, Lazarus is concerned because because we get fewer items because we have to split the items I mean Jacob has two items right now and because I didn't get any uh, <laughs> Because I didn't get any uh, Keys I can't even access like anything on this floor You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go down to no red hearts to make sure that we get the heart on the next floor. But we're done. Like we've done everything we can possibly do here. No, there's one more thing. Blowing this up could give us a key. Well, I've, I've got 39 cents, but I can't buy anything. So we're gonna leave and hope for keys on the next floor. We like desperately need items though, because we're just not getting any items right now. What? Lover's card. You know, you having some health is kind of nice. Maybe we'll get lucky and we can get some keys from this or a sun card. Since you can fly, you might as well grab that now. See where we're going. No keys. Guess we'll just go. Oh, I almost walked onto the spikes because we lost flight. Oh my lord. That's no arcade, that's a casino. I'll take it, man. I'll take a freaking casino. Okay, so you need a blue heart. You know what? Fine. Uh we'll go to the secret room, see what's in there. Maybe a key. Two! Freaking keys! What did I do to deserve this luck? And there's also a boss room. So that's HP, tears, and shot speed down. We should probably just grab it. I don't mind fighting bosses for this because it is HP up. It actually full healed us as well, which is nice. All right, so this is gonna take a while. This will be interesting to find out if um, we trade characters per wave, because this will, well, uh, we, our deal with the Devil Chance was pretty low anyways. This will um, inform us about how we want to do like boss rush or anything like that. But I, I'll admit, Tainted, Tainted Lazarus just feels like such a, a underpowered garbage character. So we, we do change in the middle uh, of each wave. Yeah, it just feels like it, this is going to be such a garbage character to play as, but uh, yeah, because I mean, you're you're just gonna you you have half the items. Do a do a run of uh, of Isaac where you only take basement one, caves one, depths one items, and you leave everything on the on the depths two. That's that's what we're doing here. It's like we're the the purists, you know. 
Except we have to do Mega Satan instead of just Mom's foot. <laughs> I mean, I'm... I, I, I don't want to make it sound like I'm complaining or anything, but like this doesn't seem like a fun character to play as. It seems like a character that you play as it just to finish the, the post-it note objectives, and then you never play as them again because they're complete trash. <laughs> Until you like random them and then die repeatedly, and then like, there goes your streak! Temperance. Well, it's not like we need another one of those on this floor. How to jump. Well, at least now you have the capability of getting, you know, away from a pit that maybe you've gotten yourself on top of. Play Tainted Jacob so you can appreciate all the other characters more. I don't want to appreciate bad Lazarus, which is what I'm gonna call this character now because they're pretty bad. You know, I actually don't want the chocolate anymore because it almost cost me damage because I pooped and then I couldn't backtrack. At least you can fly, you can keep the chocolate. BFF. Well, we have no familiars. Um. Could take another spirit heart, I guess, and a heart. Might as well. I mean, we're gonna use this temperance eventually. B side isn't bad. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. Hmm. You know what? I'll admit, I'm I'm liking using the. Uh... Right. Don't you, you can't fly. Can't fly. Can't fly. Uh, I like using the. Uh... Blood rights, just because some of these enemies are just like a pain in the ass to deal with when there's so many of them and I have like virtually no damage. And no range apparently. Oh my god, just pop up and then shoot. There you go. I don't know why the one up top kept popping up before the one on the bottom. Do your familiars disappear when you switch characters? Yep, why wouldn't they? It's not like you still have the items when you flip characters. You don't have the items anymore. Yeah, like, it, it really does just feel like this is going to be a slog of a, of a character to play as. Which, I, I, I assume is the intention, even though it is kind of just not the most fun way of playing Isaac, taking half the items, you know. The game is built around that being the, uh, the balance point. <laughs> I'll take it. I don't need to keep the, the other one alive if I can just, if I can just flip after we uh, fight the boss and maybe get like a deal with the devil or something. Although our deal with the devil chance is only 11%. We haven't gotten a deal with the devil yet. At all. I don't think we have anyways. I think that's gonna be key. Like if you can get a, either a deal with the devil or just like a powerful item. Ghost baby, oh baby. <laughs> Because you're going to need a powerful item to carry you through through difficult rooms. You can get soft lock if you clear a room with flight over a place you can't exit. I was actually thinking about that when I picked up how to jump. Because it is theoretically possible that while we're flying, we'll go over a pit. And then when we come back, we'll be like stuck on the other side of a, of a one-way passage or something. However, how to jump solves that problem. And additionally, even if he didn't have how to jump, you could always exit and then restart the game and that should solve your problem. I found pills. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna play these for a little bit. I don't really want ringworm, but. Oh, that would've killed me. I guess I could always flip if I want to, but. I wanna, I wanna play these a little bit, just to see if we can't get a payout. Uh, uh, 
Esau here has uh, a little bit worse luck, unfortunately, so he's less likely to get a, a payout from the arcades, I think. I'm just gonna call him Esau, because he's, you know, the dark version. The joke, the not the joke version, but the uh, the Joker, you know, the Joker version. Do I have any damage up to this character? <laughs> five point two five. I mean, five point two five damage is pretty good. Why? It seems like I might have some damage up as that character, but I don't have any damage upgrades. Unless the heart is a damage upgrade, I don't I don't know why it would be, but maybe. I don't remember it being a damage upgrade. Hey, it's the uh, the best use for ringworm. You can attack these guys and they can't hit you back. Never mind. <laughs> Piece of garbage. Oh, good timing on that, huh? All right, another pill. Tears up, speed down. I'll take it, because his tear rate was pretty low to begin with. Because the tears up have all gone on to the other version of Lazarus. Well, I don't remember there being anything good in the shop, so I think we're just going to blow up all those machines, and then probably just get the heck out of here. Because we we're done, I mean, we've done everything there is to do on this floor, so. Get a few plays on this really, really strange <laughs> arcade that we have here. And then, you know what? Let's just uh, let's blow it all up. You know what? Tears up. That's not bad. I'll accept that. God, there's just so much stuff in here. I mean, I like there being so much stuff in here, but there's just so much garbage in here. <laughs> Another tears up. I mean, the pills have been pretty good in the rotation. I'll, I'll grant you that. Okay, pay to win. Probably better than the chocolate cookie. All right, let's get the heck out of here. I have, also have no bombs, because I spent them all, but that's fine. What can we do on this run? Uh, what should we do on this run? I mean, we're 25 minutes into it on the caves because we have no damage, because all of our damage ups have been split between two characters and we've only had one damage up and I don't even know what it was. Because I don't think I don't think we start with 5.25 damage, unless you do. Because Dark Lazarus does start with a, a, a higher like damage multiplier than Light Lazarus. This empty uh, heart has been pretty nice, I will fully admit that. Oh god. I don't wanna I don't wanna deal with you. But I suppose what we should do is, you know, if, if we don't get anything that allows us to get into boss rush or hush, should probably just do like a, a light side path, go up to the chest. Pay to win is reroll machines. You know, that's actually that sounds extremely good. But I wonder if you have to be the character who has pay to win when you walk into the room that has the, the reroll machine in it. I assume you have to you have to do it like that. Oh lord. Yeah, I assume it won't spawn if you uh, are the other character when you walk into the room. These freaking greed heads, man. How do they move? They're a head! Heads are not autonomous moving objects. They don't just hop around. I have no bombs still. Still have how to jump. Should uh, continue to be, uh, you know, mindful of that on occasion. Okay, we have pay to win. <sighs> Is the leech good enough? Drop pay to win and pick it up before entering the item room. I mean, we can always just do one more room of combat before we go into the item room. You know, just just wait until you flip. And then if we want to take a, a, a item as a specific character, do a room, come back, then pick it up. 
So, let's, let's see. I, I don't want the leech. It's good healing, but I wanna, I mean, it's good healing with blood rights? No, let's, let's reroll it. Golden teleport. We could get a guaranteed deal with the devil slash error room. That's not bad, but let's reroll it again. Tomato. Enemies will attack an enemy we hit with the tomato. That's not bad. Let's reroll it again. Mom's pad. That's pretty bad. Let's roll it again. Vampire bat. I mean, that's not bad, but let's roll it again. Fortune cookie. That's not bad. All right, we're, <laughs> we're going to keep the fortune cookie out of all of that. The tower. Beautiful. Nothing, nothing amazing. I, I was waiting to see if we got, like, a powerful item, obviously. Like, something that could, uh... Something that could give us a, a, a significant benefit, but I, nothing ever really showed up there. Really? Yo, jump through the door. No? Alright. Health up. 48 hour energy. You might as well just hold on to the pill. Right, we got a bomb. We'll use it. We got some keys. We'll use it. I was kind of hoping to be able to hop over the locks, but I guess you have to go over and in from the side in that case. Uh, experimental pill, I'll use it. Tears up, HP down, you know what? That's uh, tears up in my my eyes. Okay. Let's keep going. <laughs> How did we get the charge on this? I guess we got the charge on the cookie by completing the L room and then we swapped characters. So like the order does matter there to a small extent for big rooms. So we, we should get a full charge on the cookie when we uh, finish the room. Or maybe both characters get a charge when you complete a room. It's it's like impossible to tell because I keep having the, the fortune cookie on that character. I would need a, an item that has more charges, I think, to, to figure that out. Oh my lord. <laughs> I'm really curious what other people's uh, impression is of Tainted Lazarus because right now I'm fighting enemies in the depths with base damage. Lies! What, this isn't base damage? Oh, thank god for flight here. Sometimes you do get lucky. I should also like very much consider swapping more frequently, I think, but... Like, there's no, not really any specific reason to do it. Like, yeah, I could take, like, a ghost baby on another character, or I could have flight on a room, but... You know, it's not like one character has a brimstone beam that I could pull out in an emergency and be like, you know what, this is a big room. It's just kind of like... Do you want range, or the guy who doesn't have a lot of range, but more damage? Oh god. 72% deal chance. We have to fight the boss right now. Because we're gonna be fighting the boss with a character of the spirit hearts. We have to try to get a deal with the devil or or angel or something. What deal did we take? Did we take flight? Yeah, we took flight, didn't we? Uh, I actually don't want the health because I want to be able to get the uh, empty heart to function. So let's go and fight the boss. It is the adversary. A hard boss, but I've fought you many times before. Go into the fire. He did not go into the fire. really helps to understand the patterns of the boss and how to dodge it. <laughs> okay. I think I could get him to put out a fire if I, um... If I time it correctly. I'm, I'm pretty bad at doing that, though! Ah! I got the timing wrong on that. But also, the spiders scared me. Oh, more spiders! I don't want your spiders! All right, that could have been better, but it could have been a lot worse. 
Okay, this is a bone heart and a tears up, I think. And also a piece of paper. We did get a deal with the devil, which gives us Guppy's head and whatever the heck that item is. Oh, we're gonna take it as his character. <laughs> you know, honestly, we can because we've got the empty heart. It's gonna give us a lot more, uh, a lot more HP back. So take it, take it. You now have Guppy's head, and then honestly, let's flip so we can take the cookie. Yeah, let's flip so we can take the cookie with us. There you go. Okay, that that was not too bad. And then we do need another red heart to keep the, uh, you know, honestly. Yes! Uh, we wanna keep the, uh, the bone heart alive as long as we can on this character. Oh, what the heck? Well, I hate this. <laughs> oh Lord, flight would have been real nice, but uh, I had already used my flip charge, didn't I? Just gotta be very careful. I mean, I, I can't really afford to lose, a, you know, a whole lot of HP. This is gonna have to carry us for the, the rest of the run, pretty much. I did look. Snail God. Um, map. Map is good. We don't have anything else to spend the money on uh, in any case, so we'll take the map. We'll keep doing some rooms. I wanna go into the, the second secret room. This is a 34 minute run already, good lord. What kind of a run would you have to have in order to like beat Hush or Delirium? I guess the answer to that question is that all you need is one good character. You know, all you need is a mom's knife or a brimstone and then you stack up uh, enough on that character that they can handle those, those tough fights and then you don't even worry about swapping. Like right now I have one strong character. I'm curious. I can I can walk over the pit and then I got shoved into the spikes. Oh no, it sucked me in, that's what it was. Well, there goes our bone heart. Yeah, there it goes. So that's fantastic. This is a great room, by the way. I love this room. This is such a good room. <laughs> oh nice, I don't even know what you are. Well, <laughs> should we do another room? You know, maybe we should go into that uh, that challenge room and see what's in there. What about Mega Satan? Do you keep the key? Most of, so usually in these situations, progression items are uh, kind of put to the side of normal items. I would assume that progression items are kept separately, so if one character has the Polaroid, you can go to the chest. If one character has, you know, the golden knife piece number one, golden key piece, that you'll be fine. That tends to be how the game works. The game doesn't tend to screw you for just playing, you know? Which is very nice. Ah, thanks, spiders. Rules card. Yeah, let's just put this text over the screen so you can't see what you're doing. <laughs> I mean, I did it, but like, come on. And you know what I just noticed? We only have half of a charge on our cookie. So charges, only the character that completes the room gets a charge on the item. Interesting. So if you have a six room charge item, it's gonna take 12 rooms for to actually charge. Oh, Lord. Well, I mean, you might as well take the health. Um, and we'll do another room. We'll flip if we have to before we leave so that we're playing as the character that gets the benefit of health from the, the, the heart item. Yeah, 
so I think we're good to go. I, I don't care about doing one last room. We've already done everything we can on the floor, and we have a hermit card so we can get into the shop on the next floor and probably fight greed, but it is what it is. All we need is one key and we'll go to the item room. Yeah. Okay, box of trinkets. What do we have? Uh, we have the cookie. Uh, the cookie is still probably better to keep. So you know what? We're gonna keep the cookie. I will use health up. I will grab all these. I like the idea of having the health on uh, Lazarus number two because we could always take deals as this character and build this character to be the character that we need in order to defeat bosses. Like, this is going to be our lamb. This is going to be our mega scene if we can make that happen. You know, this character is going to be the one that fights mom's heart and mom's foot. Ideally. I think that's what we need to do. Oh boy, are you a wizard? This is... this is easy. <laughs> Do you know what these tears are doing? I don't! Just swap me. Swap me, bro. Ah, god damn! These enemies that pull out of the ground! <laughs> There's no tell that they exist until they hit you. I can fly, I don't need... Well, I can fly, but if I change characters, I might hit the creep when I land. So let's um, be very careful about that. Justice. Justice. It's fine. It's fine. We have the map, don't we? Well, we have the map on this character so we could see where everything was, but only once we changed. Once. Also, Are You a Wizard was still active there. That was great. And by great, I mean that was horrifying. Look, I still think it's better to have Spectral Tears than not even though this is a little awkward. <laughs> All right, there we go. And you know what? Don't even need to use a bomb. Let's also try to remember that whenever possible. I wish Gungeon had tainted characters. That's such a good idea. <laughs> That's an interesting idea. Oh, it's a black, black market? No, it's Robo Baby. I don't think we want Robo Baby as this character, because this character already has enough damage. And they have flight, they have maneuverability. I think we need Robo Baby as Lazarus number one, because Lazarus number one kind of blows right now. As you can see. <laughs> and we also need to find that uh, that tinted skull as soon as we can so we can go fight the boss and then uh, get the hell out of the boss room maybe get a deal with the devil or maybe just you know go into the fight with this character because this is the one that we need to fight the bosses with yeah take that please You know, at least it's something. You know, at least it's some additional damage. How are we gonna get into this room? I, I don't think we can. I mean, if I can drain red health? Maybe that'll work? Like, if there's an arcade, then we can drain red health from Jacob number one, fly in there, flip on a difficult boss, and then try to complete that challenge room? It's possible. Right, can't fly, can't fly. Or, you know, if we just do a couple more rooms, we'll have uh, no red heart, so we can just walk in. <laughs> so, you know, the the problem is, is solving itself rather quickly. Card, death. It's a good card. Uh, it doesn't really matter if they steal any charges from me. Where the heck is this skull, dude? Skull, dude. I'm trying to look. I'm trying to watch. Oh, 
Oh, right. Item rooms. <laughs> Completely forgot that's what we were going for here. Uh, do we try to get conjoined? I don't know. That seems like a stupid idea. I think I think we just reroll and look for something good. Then again, this is very good for handling like rooms, you know, because the, the enemies will shoot this and then Necronomicon will happen. I, I still feel like we go for something better. I don't even know how that would work. Ice Baby is pretty good. Piercing shots? I feel like that doesn't matter at all. It's just like a fly? That's bombs. And that's a razor blade. I mean, nothing really felt good out of those choices, but if I had to pick one, I would probably just pick the... Uh, I would probably just pick the uh, original thing that that was there. The rotten baby. <laughs> the rotten friend. Tears up. Well, I think we should swap and take it. Because we need more tears on the other character than we need on this character. So we'll take it as you. And that means we're only gonna have one health as uh, Lazarus number one, but these bosses aren't terribly difficult and I fought them enough times that we should be okay. Hopefully it's just like a maw in the middle of the room or something, or Larry Jr's. Okay, hopefully that was the hard one. Oh God! I really wanted the health. Oh, you have freaking spiders? Well, I need that health, so. The health, it got pushed out. Let's go. Oh, damn it. I'm counting on you, Robo Baby. This is all Robo Baby's time to shine. You know what? I, I've got the death card. If we get hit, we should use it. We've already I screwed our deal with the devil chances. No, I think I think we should use this when we're close to killing this guy, because then it'll also kill all the spiders. There we go. Just to keep us a little safe, you know? Oh lord, that was uh, annoying. But hey, now we have a tears upgrade on half of our characters. <laughs> oh, God. And we need that health, but we gotta flip first, so we'll, we'll come back to it later. Let's, uh, let's push it down so we don't have to walk as far next time. And we, oh, there's the skull, but I have no bombs. I can go buy a bomb. What am I worried for? Let's go fricking buy a bomb. And we'll grab, wh why do we need this? I don't know. I don't know why I need a fool card. <laughs> We're not gonna get in the boss rush. I don't know, maybe we can go into Tainted Land. Uh, probably a stupid idea. I don't know why I needed that bomb. I, but I used it anyways, cause why not? All right, give me something good. HP, we will take that on other Lazarus. Because again, this Lazarus can get health on his own using the, uh, the heart that he has. I think you should take this. So you're gonna come over here and get the health. A lot of micromanagement to do on these characters too. Eh, that was smart, just walk over the spikes for no freaking reason. For no freaking reason, man! All right, so Flip is at three charges. I really hope that we can fight Mom not as this Lazarus, but I actually think we'll have to fight Mom as this Lazarus. So thank God for Robo Baby. <laughs> We're gonna need him. <laughs> Un unless there's no nothing in this room. Oh crap! I don't have I don't have a charge. There's no batteries anywhere. I've done all the rooms. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no, maybe there's a mini battery in the sack and then we can charge and then swap. I hope mini battery charges flip, by the way. I don't know if it does. <gasps> 
It doesn't, it charged the cookie. But at least we have a devil card, that'll help. Oh, what, come on. Why didn't it charge the other item? Or both of them? Or why didn't the, the two charges that it gave me charge both items independently? Oh, Lord. All right, let's do it. Easy. It's just, you know, it's just mom's foot, it's easy. <sighs> Great mom sounds, by the way. There goes our deal chance. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Even more if it could. I got stuck on the rock, that's okay, that's my bad. Oh, I got punched, that's my bad. Can't, com can't complain about getting punched, because I'm the one who got punched. Uh, well, if we can do it, that's how we're gonna do it. Let's go. <laughs> How long are we into this? We're 48 minutes into a garbage run. Well, because, like, here's the thing, is that second Lazarus is really not that bad. It's really just Prime, La or, uh, Prime Lazarus, who is hot trash, because I haven't been taking good items with him, and he's only down to, you know, one HP now, so any hit will kill him. But, like, at least we have one good Lazarus, you know? Yo, I need this. I don't think we want to do that. <laughs> you can hear it in my voice. It's like, no. 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 No, that's silly. Don't do that. Rooms are not horrible as this form of Lazarus though because we do get the flies from this Lazarus if they hang if they uh, stay you know that's what we should be doing for the good character we'll use our uh, guppy's head right before we swap and then hopefully we'll maintain some flies for the other one we'll try to min max that a little bit It's a library! I, I do, uh, like, I'll, I'll repeat. This means that it's gonna take 12 rooms to charge up a six room charge book, but still, like, if we can make Light Lazarus just live longer, <laughs> it's gonna be absolutely worthwhile. I don't know if Book of the Dead is the way to go, but you know what I like? I like the Bible. Because if we take the Bible, then we can use the Bible to instantly kill mom and then maybe also use it to avoid damage in other floors. I think we got to take it though. It's better than uh, fortune cookie. It's given me like one spirit heart and a couple of like half good cards. Honestly, taking it for a chance at instantly killing mom's heart is probably the best thing that we can do, because if we do that, maybe we can get another deal with the devil and it's gonna give us something that's actually good. Actually. You will die, all right, well, let's try not to die. Another thing I would like, well actually, you know, I was just thinking about it. It would be nice to have more charges for flipping, but, can we even get more flip charges? Or are we stuck at, you know, whatever the charges are uh, for the flip right now? Like, if we get battery, can we get two charges on flip and save them? I don't think that's the case. Okay, we wanna go... Well, I actually, I think that... Oh, it's an XL floor! We can use the book and then go back for the... for the cookie if we want. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is not the right direction I wanted to go in, but yeah, 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 yeah. We'll use the book on Mom's heart, and then we'll come back for the cookie, just in case it gives us any more HP. That's what we'll flip and do. HP up. We'll take that before we leave. 
Okay, go back and get the books so you get like triple shot or double shot if you can get it. We gotta we gotta min max on this character, I feel a little bit. Man, this is a long run. It's a long run. No bookworm, but that's okay. Well, why don't we have bookworm? Didn't we have how to jump? Maybe swapping characters clears your your transformation history, because I think we should have Bookworm if we had How to Jump earlier, but for some reason we don't. That feels like a bug, but it's probably just due to how, you know, they changed transformations and whatnot in uh, in Repentance. Because you can, your transformation history gets cleared if you reroll. This might count as rerolling. I like 48 hour energy. I don't know what I would want to do about it though. Maybe we should, maybe we should, no. Nah. Cause I'm like, maybe we should put the freaking goopy flies on other Lazar so he always has them available. But I want him to have the Bible so that he has a chance of killing mom's heart when he can't do any damage because he sucks. <laughs> I don't want to walk forward because that turret scares me. I just want Roa Baby to do this one. Yes, come to me. Come to me, you brain. 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 Don't get hit. Just don't get hit. Okay, okay. You know what? We should probably just do this. 48 hour energy. Maybe 48 hour, no, 48 hour energy. I don't think it charges flip. I could be wrong about that though. The lovers. You you need this, so you might as well take it. Okay, so this is this is exactly what we want. We want the, the Bible to be ready for mom. And then that'll kill mom instantly. We'll have a 23% chance at a deal with the devil. And if we get a deal and we get something good, I think it's gotta go on other Lazarus, the, the bad one. Cause this Lazarus, you know, they have flight and good mobility. So honestly, that's, that makes up for a little bit of, of lack of damage and range. I think you need the survivability. Kill mom, no deal. Deal or no deal. Okay, well, we're gonna go back and flip. I almost walked into the spikes. Uh, so that we get the HP on the other Lazarus. Ah, that was bad. And then we're gonna go, cause I don't think there's much else for us to do on this floor. No, we want the cookie. Let's go back and get the cookie too. Man, this is like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, man. I'm getting ground down by this uh, this character right now. So I'll at least have four and a half health. I know we haven't been flipping a lot, but I don't know. Maybe we should flip more because if we flip, then we get more rooms of combat with the good character. But it feels like maybe you should just save it for like when you actually get the opportunity to take an item with a, a character that you need to have an item with. You know what? Let's let's do the thing that we just said. We're gonna flip. Because of all of these purple fires, we would probably take a lot of damage trying to walk around this room. Being able to fly makes this a lot easier. But now we're stuck, which is unfortunate for this room because of the, uh, the creep. We also have five bombs. Maybe we should uh, not, you know, ah, bomb got knocked off. Maybe we should not be afraid of, of dropping bombs on these guys. The only thing we need is we need flip for 
the boss fight if we don't have it, but we actually don't need it because again, now that I think about it, we can always just do one more room and then flip. Yeah, I'm starting to think that maybe the uh, the strategy is don't really worry about uh, about flipping quite so much because you get the charges back on both characters. It, it doesn't take 12 rooms to get your charge back. It takes six. I know the door is open, but I actually kind of want to kill this guy and get a card. Even though we should probably just go. But also, like, he did it. <laughs> Dude, oh, you know what? I think we take Bob's. Oh, it's not Bob's head, it's Bob's curse. I still think you take Bob's items, though. Okay, there's a red heart here somewhere. I'm gonna go grab that. I was kind of hoping it was Bob's head, because Bob's head would be would have been nice there. Hey, Quark. Thank you for the cheer. Um, okay. Let's keep, keep going. Okay. I was initially scared, and then I realized this room is not that bad. I, I was about to say I don't know what hit me. Is this jerk? I always forget that they can shoot bullets, and their bullets are white, so they're hard to see. They're the only only white bullets in the game. Why make why make one enemy that has a different rule set from everything else? You know, <laughs> give me some more consistency. Okay, we can fly over the creep. Don't worry about the creep. Yeah, just walk into both shots. That's like real nice. The fool. Don't I feel like one? You know what, let's see what's in here. Now I need spirit hearts as this character. Onk, a chance of coming back as a blue baby? Why do I care about blue freaking baby? Yep, 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 yep. Freaking, dang it, Bobby. All right, so we can flip if we want, but we only have two HP as the other version, so I think we just wanna stay. Our damage is bad, but you know, we've got Robo Baby and a Ghost Baby. So as long as we dodge the fetuses, eventually we'll be able to kill Isaac. Yeah, I think we want to stay as this character, because the other one just doesn't have enough health at this point. Careful. Just need you to flip states, please. Careful. Can't see. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. One hit, two hits. Not a problem. You get him, Robo Baby. You've really gotta thread the needles on those, huh? I like that they changed it, though, for Repentance, because... Oh. We gotta change, we gotta change! I hit the wrong button, I hit space bar. That's not how you change characters. Oh God, I hate it. I hate Lazarus. It's just such a slog. <laughs> Man, these runs are going to be very tough. Um, both Lazarus and Tainted Jacob, because Tainted Lazarus, you effectively just get half items for the entire run. You can you can fiddle it with a little bit by swapping and flipping characters sometimes, but like you're gonna you're gonna have to do runs or sorry, you're gonna have to do rooms with half items, and it just blows. It's a slow way of playing Isaac. And then you have uh, Jacob, which is a whole nother can of worms, but at least you know dark. Esau can do a lot of damage, but Lazarus is just not a fun way of playing. Uh, but we gotta do it for the post-it note completion regardless. Anyways, for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs, and I hope to see you here again for the next run of The Binding of Isaac Repentance.